Absolutely, yeah. I think um, you know Cardiff came out and you know brought uh, real good intensity to that first 20 minutes, and I thought we fronted up well. You know, for our first first real hit out of pre-season, it's um, lungs were burning, legs were heavy, but um, I thought we controlled the game pretty well, and you know overall it was a good, good, good result. I was going to say in training, you know each other's moves, you know what's coming. At you. It's handy when you get an opposition that. Do something different. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, like I said, they, that, especially that first 20 minutes, you know, we were um, you know, having to defend a fair bit. And, but I thought, you know, we never sort of felt out of out of control, and we just sort of, you know, got our way into the game pretty well. And um, you know, especially that sort of middle middle period, just before half time, just after half time, I thought we played really well and controlled the game. And um, like I said, it's just about getting that hit out, getting the lungs burning. And we know we're going to have to go to sort of dark places, and we went there today and came through it. And hopefully. We'll, we'll, bode well for next week and, and leading on to the Prem. Rob's just talked about you epitomise what he wants to see in the defence, that chase back you did there today. It's what the standard you're going to set yourself now and it kind of, that last five, ten minutes of the game, it inspired the youngsters as well. Is it something you've kind of all worked on as a team with Jules coming in now, a different outlook of, of defence perhaps? Yeah, I think like with Jules coming in, we've probably had a little bit more time to do like individual base skills and stuff like that so you know I've been lucky obviously with him being a seven as well but or back row like just to, to do some skills around breakdown and that sort of thing but but as a, as a team he's managed you know I think we, we you know we, we've still got a lot of work to do but we, we're taking that defense on like I say it was the first hit out of the season today and I thought there were obviously areas we can improve on in our defense and I think Jaws will pick that up next week but um, you know generally it's been real real good in training I think we can like I say keep pushing the standards and um, yeah, I think, I think hopefully next week we can take it on again and like I said, just hitting the ground running in, in Leicester. For coaches and players, having that video now to work with, the guys last night, they, they put <coughs> up a show but unfortunately came out unstuck. You put up a show, Rob said we've seen the good and the bad over the last 24 hours. You've got stuff to work with now. Oh, absolutely, yeah. And I think, <coughs> yeah, that's key. It's never going to be a perfect performance, like we said. Boys are tired, boys are heavy-legged. It's that first out in pre-season is always, like, it's dre it is, I don't think you realise as a player it's horrible, like you do get more nervous almost about that than other games. But um, now we've got, like you say, now we've got the first we've got something to look at and things that we've tried maybe a little bit differently in pre-season, we can have a look if they're working or if we can tweak a few things and um, I think that's important for both teams. There'll be a lot of learning out of both the games and, and also look at what we've done well because ultimately, you know, that, you know we've, we've won today's game, you know, we've, we've done a lot of good things as well, uh, things to work on, but we'll see if we can improve the good things as well. This time last year it was a new experience for you, coming to a new club. A year down the line, you certainly see and feel probably more comfortable in the whole role you've got here now. Yeah, I said, I said a minute ago, it's just sort of, it's been nice to hit. I, I haven't had to come in and, and learn all the calls and you know be in a different environment. And it's been easier for me this year in the sense I could just hit the ground running. You know, just focus on really getting all the fitness in, and um, I'm a lot more comfortable. I know the boys in the squad and a little bit, just just generally more comfortable. And I think that's that's helped personally helped me this year and. Um, hopefully I can just keep keep improving. Leicester's looming large on the horizon now. This year they're talking this is going to be the, probably the toughest Premiership yet. Is it how you've seen it as a player? There's no easy game. Well, every year is <laughs> every year is tough. I think you've seen like, <clears throat> over the last sort of couple of couple of seasons. There's been the margins between sort of eight and eighth and maybe fourth have been a few points. And you know at the end of the season it sort of frees up a little bit. And you can see, but you know teams are teams are there are a lot of unexpected results. So. Like I said, we, like I said, a bit cliche. We'll just focus on next week. You know, Munsters. You know, no, no pushovers. A big team in Europe, so we're going to have a, a good crack at them next week. And then, <clears throat> like I said, take the learnings from both these games and um, yeah, give it. It's nice to have a home game first up, so we can have a good crack against Leicester. As a chief, you, and what they've done over the last few years, you've got a big target on you. You're a big scout for a lot of teams now, aren't you? They're going to come at you. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think you know we've you know, having made the final for well, the last three seasons, and you know there's a little bit of a. Um, you know, disappointment obviously from uh, from from losing last season's one, so we've got that sort of fire brewing a little bit, and um, you know, maybe a little bit of a point to prove from us as well going into the season. So yeah, we'll just focus on us and make sure we keep doing what we do.